Bust two shot, then one drop. If him did bad, where him run for? But, eh? Where you think him get gone for? Eh? I crept up in the night like a monster. Yeah. Like a gunshot, give a boy gunshot. gunshot. Dog, you won't just hear one shot. Cause I ain't bossing no one pop. No. Let the gun yeah. pop up with the gun. I want a sexy English yardy. Uh. Girl with the back here in the tightest panani. Uh. Hot lighty, saw me and said she want me. Call me, make her wetter than the tsunami. Uh, black girl's bags on it like a hot bunny Brown girl bend over like you drop money White girl if I fling something in your tummy Your leg will start shaking you won't stop coming You won't stop coming no you won't stop coming I'll have you coming back like you forgot something Yeah she looks light in the drop top something But she looks even flying when she rocks nothing Naked, I won't waste it The gal say her ex-boyfriend's wasted He ain't nowhere near where my waivers The neighbors know my name I'm yeah, trying shit Alright you're tuned into MBT Media This is Bio Songs And I'm here with Cash so, I'd like you to tell the, um, the people a little bit about yourself. Basically, I'm Cash, young rapper from Peckham, London. The name Cash came from my government name. If you take off the last bit of my government name, you get Cash. So, everyone in the hood that kind of shortens my name calls me Cash. That's where the name comes from. Alright, so I'd like to ask you, like, how long have you been in this rap thing? And what got you into it, so influencing it? Basically, I've been rapping for long, man. Like my older brother, he's like, he's American, so like he he used to have the studio in the house. So obviously, I was like his protege kind of thing. So I was always kind of rapping. I've always been around music kind of thing. But when I started rapping, obviously, because I used to look up to my brother, I used to rap rap American as well. Okay. So what was that? The house here or in America? No, nah, that's over here. That's okay. over here. But obviously, he moved over here, so okay. it's kind of thing. But like. Like I said, I used to rap American, but like, when you grow up, you kind of find your own way of doing things, and that's not really my stuff. So that's where I started rapping, kind of thing. But I've been rapping for years, man, like, back to when I'm like, probably around eight, seven, eight. All right, so just to make it clear, it's rap, not grime. Nah, I've never ever done grime. I think I'm the only one in my era that's never really done it. I've never really, I can do it, okay. I can speed, because I can rap any way I really want to rap, but I've mm. never. You know, like certain rappers originated from grime. Yeah. I was never doing the grime stuff. So I you never. Started even, with rap. Yeah, I just started rapping. All right. So, Cash, how do you feel about artists from different areas collaborating with each other? Well, it, it depends. It depends because obviously everything leads back to the roads, kind of thing. So, mm. like, if an artist collaborates with another artist from a different area, people from that artist's area might look at him kind of different. Like, why are you collaborating with? My man, if he's from over that side, kind of thing. So it depends. But then again, people from a wide range might look at it like, do you know what? They're being big about this thing. Like, they're actually forgetting the whole road issues. and Which, which helps the roads. It does, kind of. Like, it depends. Because obviously, the roads will, the roads will always be the roads. So if you're from a different area and I'm from a different area and both of our areas have beef, if I collaborate with you, all right, it might bring me and you together and probably one or two of our brethren, mm. but the roads are still gonna be the roads, kind of thing, so. Yeah, I understand but that. Me, personally, I don't, I don't really mind, like, I do music in it, like, I don't really, I don't really care. If I feel like I, I'm interested in what that artist's doing, even, besides, it don't matter where he's from, I'll do it, I, I don't mind, I'm music in it. All right, so do. from that, do you have anything coming up in the future, any collaborations with people from different areas? Yeah, I got, like, collaborations-wise, I've, like, for, Obviously, I've done collaborations with Gigs. Gigs is from Pekka. I've done collaborations with Morrison, Blade Brown, Youngster. I've got something coming up with Margs, Benny Banks. That like, these are all artists from all different areas. So it just shows I don't really, I don't really watch face in it. I just do what I need to do. Man. All right, it's big of you, though. Yeah. All right, so you've heard it from Cash. It's all about the music. All right, so set your priorities straight. If you're about the roads, do your road thing. Your road but stuff. if it's music, keep it music. Just elevate the UK game. We're trying to make that money. We're trying yeah. to make the UK big. All right. Definitely. All right, Cash. You want to know? Are you independent? Or are you signed at the moment? Um, I'm signed to Big Lee Records. That's an underground record label. Okay. I'm not signed to a major label where you'd find the Chipmunks and the Tinsley Striders, but I am signed on the ground. I'm currently under management by Simon Price, but that's it. I'm not signed to a 
big label yet. All right, would you want to be signed to one of them major labels? Yeah, of course. Like, if you're serious about the music, then if you don't want to be signed by a major label, I don't really see the point, obviously. I, I saw Chipmunk in the interview and he recently said it and I agree with him like if you don't really if you if you're serious about the music and you're saying you don't want to be signed you're not really being honest to yourself are you for real so you know if you make that transition to the major label are you gonna either keep it underground or keep it mainstream well what I find with myself which is different than some other artists like you get artists that well they're at, well, when they're underground they do just straight grease tunes but then when they reach to a certain level whereas they get signed they cross over and do different kind of tunes me I'm not at a signed level yet but I've already done those tunes like so you can't really say no one can really say if I do get signed no one can say ah oh, Cash is sold out or Cash is st stopped doing grease tunes Cash is doing all these kind of tunes like, no one can't really say that because I do those tunes already like in the new year this is what my set aim is for everyone to see the other side of Cash like the versatility side of me everyone knows me for grease tunes but that's not all I do like I'm an artist, innit? I'm not, I wouldn't even class myself as a rapper, I'm an artist. I do anything that sounds good kind of thing, so, yeah. Alright, musically wise, who'd you rate in the game at the moment? Do you know what? I think, I think the UK game right now, I think it's looking real healthy. Like, whereas before, no one weren't really paying attention. I think, I think a lot of people are going hard right now. I, mean, I think, like, I personally, I listen to a lot of people. Like, like, shouts out to like, Margs, I listen to Margs, Youngster. Uh, I listen to, and plus, like, Big Lee Records. Like, obviously, I'm not tooting my own horn, but the camp that I'm slightly in and, like, the artists that I'm, that I'm around, a lot of talented artists, man. There's a lot of talented artists out there. Shouts out, if anyone's, if you're going hard, shouts out to yourself, man. Big up yourself, man. I do listen, like, I do listen to a lot of artists. Where a lot of rappers would do these, these interviews and that, and they're, go on like they're not really feeling no one. I listen to a lot of people. Like, I just keep it real in it. Don't matter if me and you ain't friends or if me and you ain't really from the same place. It don't matter. I listen to you in it. I think the game's looking real healthy right now. Alright, so what are your future projects for 2011? What are we going to see from you? What do we expect? Well, this year you can expect to see me a lot, man. Inshallah. Like, I'm going to be doing a lot of stuff. Like, Obviously, everyone's seen me on YouTube so it's now time to cross over to that TV kind of stage now so it should I should be doing a lot of TV vids hopefully obviously I got um, a couple projects that just come out for instance advanced music of me and youngster that's out on iTunes now it's CNC mixtape of me and chunks that's out for free that's free downloads one of the my big projects this year is that everybody wants cash mixtape that's my solo mixtape but like it's a mixtape but it's gonna it's got the album aura to it it's not just straight grease, grease tunes like when you hear the songs on there it's just gonna have that that effect where you're just gonna be wild kind of thing but that's that's the most that's the project i'm most excited about for this year kind of thing but yeah you can expect to see a lot about me man a lot all right it's been a pleasure interviewing you today cash no thank problem, you for man. coming down anytime i hope all the best for you in 2011 hope thank to you. see you on the screens more yeah, see all that official yeah. stuff yeah, man. All right. Shouts out to MBT Media as well. It's the place to be right now. Make sure you check it out. Make sure you stay locked in. Big movements for 2011.